Hey folks, Scott Pollard here, how are you going? Today we're going to be talking about a terrific new Vifly 1S charger that has just come onto the market from my very good friends at Vifly. As far as the 1S charger goes, you can't do any better than this. This is the top shelf Bugatti version of your 1S charger. If you do have a lot of these little uh, 1S which has the BT2 PH2 connectors which I've got a fair few of they are a bit of a nuisance to charge you often get little USB connectors and other little fidgety gadgets to charge them there isn't really too much on the market that will do what this whoop store does um, the beauty about this is it actually storage charges these 1s as well which means it drops it down to 3.85 volts which is absolutely awesome if you've popped onto this channel and you're looking for information about the xt30 xt60 type connector chargers well all is not lost i've got some terrific gt power chargers here from my good friend at gt power so have a look in the description jump to those links if you want to know about these cool chargers as well what we can do today is check out this Firefly Whoop store. I've used this already and let me tell you, it is fantastic. Let's have a look and see what we get in the box. A nice little Firefly, thank you. No, thank you. A little instruction booklet. I'll put that up on the screen for you guys so you can have a squiz it too at your leisure to see what everything does but that's pretty handy and informative and fairly easy to read nice packing here this is the unit itself and finish off with a usb c type connector some nice foam packing so it stays nice and safe whilst being transported around if you're a dimensions person i can tell you right now this is 10 centimeters by five centimeters by around 2.5 centimeters tall nice little screen protector there which i haven't torn off yet like i said this is for your bt and ph connectors your typical beta fpv it's got some 450s here really really simple six ports stick them in and charge away little bit of display on there looking down the side here we have your xt60 input connector there is a usb port here a usb c uh, that won't work if you connect it to your normal 5 volt phone type pack you need to connect that to uh, at least a 9 volt power supply otherwise it's a waste of time there's also a barrel connector so you can Plug it straight into your mains power. I've got a nice little mini star here, 1500 milliamp 5S. When you plug it in, you can see on the display, you can see your current voltage, your amperage input voltage there on the top left. The charge current, 0.5 amps, which you can adjust, is next to it, and the battery type is next to that just underneath it tells you whether you are running 3.5 volts or 4.2 volts the switch down here denotes the setting next to your charge indicator so you can either have it on 4.35 volts or you can switch it with the switch down here and you can charge it at 4.2 volts whichever you desire there are some nice little leds that light up to indicate your charging status button here changes your charge current so it goes up to 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 amps and back to 0.2 so you've got a range of 0.2 to 0.9 to charge it guys all you need to do it could not be simpler is stick your one s's in the port one two three four five six of the ports and it tells you the voltage of each uh, battery as you put it in number two is at 4.2 number one is at 3.8 so it says charge ready so all you simply do is long press that button and it now says charging 
and you can see we've got a solid red light there which indicates that it is under charge now you can actually while this is charging you can actually just put in some some more batteries while it's charging but bear in mind if you do that it's going to apply whatever parameters you have set on here to these new batteries so I would suggest to avoid cooking uh, your smaller one S's that you change your input voltage to suit all the batteries so that you can just put them in all at once put three in there so we'll make it quite a low output long press and we are all good to go and charging away super duper portable uh, take it out on the field with you really really light really well made nice piece of kit indeed so like i said really 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 cool feature apart from charging to your 4.35 or your 4.2 what this will actually also do with this little nifty switch down here you can either have it on full charge or we can set it to storage charge so what that means is we'll keep those two beta fpv batteries in there if we what that means is when we flick it over storage charge and we press start it will actually drop that voltage down to 3.85 and you can actually see it says okay there which means this one's already set to the 3.85 for storage and this one is showing an orange light which means it is discharging and at the moment it's on 4.23 so that's going to slowly go down 4.22 yeah so that is in itself a really really good feature guys i know there isn't very much on the market at all as far as devices that are suitable to set up all these little one s's for storage charging i know i'm going to use this a lot because as you can see a lot of my one s's I uh, have met uh, Puffing Billy and they are well and truly bloated which means um, they've been sitting around idle for too long charged up with nowhere to go so they are going to be fairly cooked fairly soon so that's going to save you a heck of a lot of money so check it out at the Vifly website guys link down below obviously this was supplied to me so if you want to smash on that link that would be awesome and there's also a nice little discount code down there for you guys as well if you would like to grab one and save yourself some dollars so check out those links that would be fabulous and that pretty much wraps it up i shall just put on the close-up lens on my camera here as you can see nice and easy to read nice display really well put together piece of kit folks so six ports for each type of 1s i'm going to connect up all my batteries now Give them a nice solid charge up and see what condition they're in drop us a comment guys any questions absolutely ask away happy to answer them firefly whoop store check it out now guys nice piece of kit like i said the bugatti o1s chargers love it see you soon folks smashing that thumb got some really cool hd zero gear coming up and lots of other exciting things just need to wait for the rain to stop See you next time. Bye for now.